Welcome back. You join me on what is almost certainly one of the hottest days of the year so far. And those of you who have been watching for quite a long time now will know that I do not cope very well with the heat. This time last year, it was exactly the same. I think I was writing Train of Thought. Yeah, that's the one. I was writing Train of Thought and it was ridiculously hot in here to the point where I was having to kind of take breaks between vocal takes and things like that. Oh, that rhymes. But anyway, this time of year, with all the equipment in here, I rhymed again. It really is quite tricky to carry on with work because it's just so warm in this room. But thankfully I'm making the most of the sunshine this afternoon because I'm going out for lunch with Hannah. So we're going to go and find a pub, have some food, sit outside and make the most of it for a couple of hours. So I'm now on the way to post another T-Rate Club CD in this heat. And don't forget, it's not too late to sign up. You can click the link in the description below and get your free CD as well. And I will be walking out in the heat over the next couple of days to post them. So there you go, that's how much I love the T-Rate Club. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's definitely someone playing the bagpipes, which is quite unusual in this area, but always reminds me of Edinburgh. Hmm, happy times. I'm nearly on the other side of the village now and I can still hear the bagpipes. I bet people think it's me. My neighbours definitely think it's me. Considering that over the years they've heard me playing the ocarina and the drums and the piano, they probably think it's me, don't they? Okay, so I was definitely wrong. Today is the hottest day of the year so far. And honestly, I believe them when they say it. It is so hot here today. There is absolutely no hope of me doing anything in the studio today. It is ridiculous in there. I'm sat in the shade because if I spend literally two seconds in the sun, I will burn to a crisp. I just don't cope very well with this weather at all and my skin burns quite naturally anyway. I was 100% built for winter. If there was any doubt that I'd be a Stark, that is gone totally because winter is my season and right now I really miss it. Obviously the Hawaiian shirt is having an outing again, which it hasn't had an iron, but honestly, I just need to wear something summery today because it is unbelievable. It's very beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's nice to look at and there is a gentle breeze, but any more than 30 seconds in that sun, it's just too much for me. It's incredibly hard to be productive. I honestly think I might go out and buy a fan just so I can move things on a little bit, but it is pretty, I will give you that and it is quite nice to be wearing the summer clothing, but I think it's something like 36, 37 degrees. The kind of temperatures you go on holiday for. In fact, to be honest, opening the front door and going outside is a bit like stepping off a plane at the moment, but I am not built for this. <laughs> not at all. I even went for a run this morning, which I think might have been the worst idea I've ever had in my entire life. And I did do it, but that was just horrible. Honestly, not very good at all, but I did it and it was an experience. But I think that's the most amount of activity I'll do today. I'm just gonna try and keep cool. Try and keep cool as much as I can. So it's 10 o'clock now and it's just starting to cool down. It's just gone down to 30 degrees. It is still relentlessly hot. I also made the second mistake of the day. I just went climbing with Dan and Hannah and we were basically in a big warehouse with no air conditioning. So it was even warmer than this house was and we were climbing. So that was just a terrible idea. Something arrived in the post today, actually. It was a print that I ordered. I'm just trying to see if I can position this in a way so you can see it without the glare from the screen. It's a shot from Game of Thrones season eight. It's a nice print and uh, I was missing the show a bit too much so I thought I'd have something to put on the wall to remind me. But also, I'm thinking about how cold it was in this particular scene and that's given me a lot of comfort right now. But winter isn't coming, is it? I kind of wish it was. And obviously I'd, I'd get a little bit closer there and sort of see, two dragons. How great is that? The name of the artist is Layla Prince. I will leave a link in the description but thank you, Layla. It will make a fine addition to my collection, which so far hasn't actually included any Game of Thrones stuff. So, got Star Wars stuff, Back to the Future. Uh, what else have we got? My Degree, is that pop culture? And the Beatles. So yes, great to have something Game of Thrones related in here. Now I'm gonna go and try and sleep. 
which isn't really going to work, is it? I was saying this to Dan that actually when it's this hot, you just kind of close your eyes and it's almost like pretending to sleep. So I'm going to go and pretend to sleep for the normal amount of time. I am so ridiculously hot. Anyway, good night. Welcome back and good morning. It is slightly cooler here today and it's even cooler because we're working on another That David podcast. Correct. There we go. <laughs> Who is our guest today, David? Majid Khan. The ex-mayor? <laughs> the of... ex-civic mayor of Doncaster, the current councillor. Well, there we go. It's going to be an interesting one. So make sure you tune in on... That David podcast. But on what on day? YouTube. On what day? On... Probably Monday. Probably Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we love release dates, particularly when they're tangible. Oh, but yeah, honestly, I, I haven't taken the risk today. Obviously still got shorts on, but it is a little bit better. But this room is, it's getting cooler now. We've opened the cool windows, but it's not amazingly. Do you want the heater on? Yeah, let's put the heater on. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> why, literally this entire vlog this week is me complaining about how hot it is. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. But yeah, it's nice out there. Not so much in here. This morning, I woke up to the sound of falling rain, which to me was the biggest relief. The heat has considerably subsided and it's a lot cooler here now. Honestly, I don't think I could have coped with a couple more days of that. I wasn't sleeping very well, I wasn't doing any work, I wasn't having any fun. I say that I prefer winter as a season, but I actually think spring and autumn are pretty optimum where you get bits and pieces of both. But the last few days have just been relentless. And everyone else I've spoken to in this area has said exactly the same thing. It's just been very close and very uncomfortable. So I'm really glad that that's over now. Like somewhere between this and that would be fine. <laughs> 100%. But it really hasn't been fun. Yesterday was fun though, obviously with David and doing the podcast and stuff like that. Majid was a fantastic guest and you should definitely check out the podcast when it comes out. David did say Monday, but I'm not entirely sure. So you'll have to subscribe to his channel to make sure that you don't miss it. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave the vlog this week. I'm going to enjoy this rain today. I'm probably just going to sit here and stare out the window and look at the rain in admiration. That's probably my plan for the rest of the day. But as always, thank you for tuning in and I will see you next week.